Hello students, under unit 4 integral calculus, we are going to discuss an application problem based on integration. Let's get on to the presentation. So let's consider this problem. A curved wedge is cut from a circular cylinder of radius 3 by two planes. One plane is perpendicular to the axis of the cylinder. The second plane crosses the first plane at a 45 degree angle at the center of the cylinder. Find the volume of the wedge. So I could tell you there is a cylinder. Okay, there is a cylinder, circular cylinder, you know how a cylinder looks like. So, there are two planes actually. Here they are taking two planes and they are cutting the cylinder. One plane, the first plane is cutting the cylinder according, according, in the axis of the cylinder. Which means it is just perpendicular to the axis. If this is going to be the axis of the cylinder, the below plane, this one which I am pointing out, is cutting this exactly the cylinder in a perpendicular direction. So, it is exactly cutting in the center of the axis of the cylinder. The second plane, what they are taking, it is cutting the cylinder at an angle of 45 degree, which means it is slicing up the cylinder like this. It is lifted to some 45 degree. So, you could see the angle here. The first plane is placed here and the second plane is tinted to an angle of 45 degree and which is sliced. So, automatically the shape what has been achieved is looks like is looking like a wedge. You know what is a wedge? So, there are applications of wedges in applied in uh, doors, right? So, whenever you don't want a door to just keep opening always, uh, sorry, closing always, you just put it there, that latch type, uh, which is on the wooden doors especially. And also, uh, it this can be uh, related to heels, a shoe heels wherever we see shoes uh, manufacturing they they uh, find out the wedge according to the size of the shape of the footwear so now we draw the wedge and sketch a typical cross section perpendicular to the x axis so this is i hope you understood this is x axis and y axis the cylinder is uh, like this and it is one the first plane is cutting perpendicularly and the second plane is cutting at an angle of 45 degree. So, what are we trying to do? We are going to find the volume of this particular piece of wedge. So, how are we going to start? Now, let's see the base of the wedge is in the figure which is a semicircle, yes or no? The part, the other part. So, we are just going to take it as a semicircle, half of it. So, semicircle with x is greater than or equal to 0 because x goes with a positive value. That is cut from the circle x square plus y square is equal to 9. You could clearly say, see that the cylinder has a base of a circle as well as the uh, other top surface will also will be like a circle. And you know the cylinder radius is 3. So automatically the circle radius will be 3 square right. The diameter can be written as 9. So x square plus y square is equal to 9. By the 45 degree plane. When it intersects the y axis, so automatically these two intersect with each other. Because the down plane, that is the first plane, cuts horizontally perpendicularly on the cylinder, and the second plane comes at a 45 degree angle, both will intersect on the middle line axis. So, for any x in the interval 0 to 3, why do we consider a closed interval 0 to 3? Because the we are considering the end point 3 also and 0 also, so it means a closed interval. And the radius is 3. So, that's why we are taking it from the middle. So, it's going to be 0 to 3. The y values in the semicircular base vary from y is equal to minus square root of 9 minus x square to y is equal to square root of 9 minus x square. So, how did I get this? So, from the equation of the circle, I have taken the value of y now. So, y square is equal to 9 minus x square and y is equal to plus or minus square root of 9 minus x square. So, the limit of y varies from minus 9 root over 9 minus x square and y is equal to root over 9 minus x square. So, when we slice, sorry, when we slice through the wedge of a per plane perpendicular to the x axis, we obtain a cross section at x which is a rectangle of height x whose width extends across the semicircular base. I hope you understood that because when the wedge is being sliced up right the cylinder sliced by two planes 
one perpendicularly across the axis and the other at an angle of 45 degree. You could see the observe this diagram. So you form actually a rectangle inside from between the two planes. Okay. So now it performs on it is that rectangle lies on the semicircular base. Right. So what are the coordinate points of this wedge? So this point how will I plot? This is going to be x comma minus of root over 9 minus x square. So it is like uh, x varies from 0 to 3 and y varies from negative of square root of 9 minus x square to positive of square root of 9 minus x square. Continue. So the area of this cross section is given by a of x is equal to height into width. That is length into height. So what is the length height of that particular rectangle we have seen? It's x of 2 times of root over 9 minus x square. So if I'm going to multiply, it's going to be 2x of root over 9 minus x square. So the rectangular runs from 0 to 3. You know that. So we have because that rectangular particular uh, perfectly lies within the radius of the circle. It will not be extending more than that. So automatically you know the radius, the maximum value of x is from 0 to 3. So therefore, so we have volume V is equal to the width V equal to integral over A to B A of x dx. So what is the value of x now with respect to x we are going to integrate. It's going to be 0 to 3 and the function value of Ax can be replaced by 2x of square root of 9 minus x square dx. Now since uh, this is going to be a normal integration but you can use the method of substitution. So we take the square root function has u. So you are going to take u is equal to 9 minus x square. So what is du? du is equal to when I am going to differentiate that. When I differentiate 9 it is going to be 0. When I differentiate x square I am going to get minus 2x dx. So minus this 2x and dx will be replaced by du minus du. So minus can be taken out and this will be taken as considered as root of u. So u root of u is nothing but u to the power of half. So u to the power of half, how will I, how will I integrate? So minus 2 by 3 is outside. So it's going to be u to the power of half can be taken as u to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. So that 3 by 2 has come as 2 by 3, right? So now what is the limits now? 0 to 3 is my limits. So minus 2 by 3 is outside. So when I'm going to substitute the upper limit here, what will I get? 9 minus 9, correct? So 3 square is 9. So 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. So 0 raised to the power of anything is going to be 0. So my upper limit is going to be 0 here. So minus the lower limit. So if I put substitute the minus the lower limit. So minus of if I substitute 0 here. I will be getting 9 of 3 raised to the power 3 by 2. So it is going to be 2 by 3. So since the upper limit is 0. So negative of that will become positive here. So 2 by 3 into 9 of power 3 by 2. So when I simplify this, I will be getting the answer as 18. So what is the actual volume of that particular wedge now? It's going to be 18. I hope you understood. We'll discuss more problems in the upcoming videos. Thank you.